How can one reconcile that God is a God of love? We talk about that as believers. We who are trusting in Christ alone for our eternal life, we talk about his grace, his forgiveness. He began the book by saying, I have loved you. Let me show you how. And yet here is judgment. How do you put those together? And some accuse us saying he's not a loving God if he executes judgment. So here's what's going to happen. When God comes to his people, it would not be for an immediate judgment. That's not what was predicted here. It's not what was prophesied. He could have come and it could have been an immediate judgment. He could have wiped out uh, every person in the world and no one could have complained because that's what everyone deserved. But he says, no, that's not how I'm choosing to do it. Only after I come to seek and to save that which is lost, then, then a judgment will come. 